There's a party going on in Farmville this evening. That's because the Longwood men's and women's basketball teams have made history, both winning their respective Big South Conference tournaments over the weekend and qualifying for the NCAA tournament for the first time ever. 8 News reporter Nicole Danzler is live with fans' reactions and how they welcome them back, Nicole. I know that it's probably pretty electrifying there right now. Eric, a historic moment for the university as both teams clinched their first ever NCAA tournament spot. Today, town leaders and residents celebrated the team's success in a special way. Crowds of people lined up along downtown Farmville to welcome home the champions of the Big South Conference tournament. The Longwood Lancers men's and women's basketball teams are headed to the NCAA tournament for the first time in the school's history. Tradesia Smith, a guard on the women's team, says it took hard work to achieve this moment. We wrote our names um, in the history book, so it means a lot. Last night, the women's team beat the Campbell Fighting Camels 86 to 47. The men's basketball team put 79 points on the board against the Winthrop Eagles. Zach Watson, a senior on the men's team, saying this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's just great to see. We got this uh, March Madness game coming up, so it's, it's only sweet right now. David Whitis, Farmville's mayor, says both wins can boost the town's economy and increase the school's enrollment. The stadium in Charlotte was absolutely electric. People uh, will know more about Longwood. They'll know about Farmville. Uh, it'll boost the entire community. As both teams prepare for the postseason, fans like Colleen Gleason have faith that they will win it all. They're such great athletes. They work so well together. So it's like, whoop, whoop. Both the men's and women's teams will wait to fate, will wait to see who they will face once it's announced. But for now, both Longwood and the town of Farmville will celebrate these historic wins. Live in Farmville, Nicole Dantzler, 8 News. I'm sure the party will continue for some time to come, Nicole. Thanks.